tutorial I'll show you how to create a new knowledge form views, uh, how to navigate around views in different ways, and how to upload a background image to a view. Um, so what this interface we're looking at here is what we refer to as a knowledge form view. It's basically the discussion space where you contribute your ideas and post your notes. You can think of knowledge form views as analogous to web pages on a website. So you can create as many different knowledge form views as you want to within your knowledge form community. Now you notice that there's actually about three or four views in this community, um, but there's no way for us to really tell that just by looking at the screen that we see here. In order to see all the different views in a community and to navigate around them, what you're going to do is go over to the left hand side in this main toolbar here and click this icon here that kind of looks like a computer screen. If you scroll over, you'll see the tooltip and it'll show you that it's the view management icon. So you're going to click this button here and this is where you're going to see a list of all of the available views in this knowledge forum community. So we're talking all about cycles. So there's um, a welcome view, which is the one that we're looking at here. Um, and then there's three additional views that are talking about different natural cycles. So I can navigate around these different views by just clicking on them here and it'll bring me to these pages. If I want to go back, I can click this view management uh, button and I can go to another view. This one's blank, so I'm going to go back to my welcome view. If I want to create a new view, it's really easy. All I have to do is enter a new title and click this button, add new view. And I'll title this Knowledge Advances. Add a new view, and here I see it in this list. So when I click on it, I'm brought to this fresh, clean discussion space. Okay, I'm going to go back to the welcome page now. There's a second way of, of navigating different views that um, is a little bit easier, okay, and that is creating view links, what we call view links. In order to do this, you're going to go to the icon that's just below the view management icon. Okay. If you scroll over, you'll see it's called the view link icon. And when you click this button, you'll also get this window that will show you all of the different views that are in this knowledge form community. Now I can click on these links to go to the different views, just as we did previously. Or what I can do is I can drag and drop these links onto the discussion space itself. Okay. So I'm going to drag and drop links to every single other view so that they're available to me on my welcome page. I'm going to close this button here. I'll drag these over <clears throat> to the left hand side. Okay, so now I have them available on this view itself and I can click on them and get taken to my different um, dialogue spaces. Okay, I might want to actually at least create a link to the home page on every view so that I can always get back to my welcome view here. Okay, so that's the second way you can navigate around different views in Knowledge Forum. Now I'm going to show you how to create a background image. Okay, I'll go to this view, Fall Seasons, here in order to do that. So there could be times when you might want to have an image on the background of a view. An image can serve as sort of an object of discourse that students can um, have conversations around. So you can also upload templates of different diagrams. For instance, if you want to put up a Venn diagram or a fishbone diagram, that will help students reorganize their ideas. You can do that too. Um, and it's really quite simple to upload a background image onto a view. And you do that by um, using this sort of attachment icon here, this little uh, paper clip. And when you click that, you're given an option. You can either choose a file that you have saved um, anywhere on your computer, or you can drag, drag and drop a file if you have one saved from your desktop. I have an image saved that I want to upload to the background of this view on my desktop, so I'm just going to drag and drop it. Okay, so now I see it shown up here as a little thumbnail of an attachment. Now what I want to do is actually have this available so people can see the image itself. So I'm going to put my cursor on top of the title and right click. And I have all of these options, but what I want to choose is the show in place option. And here it opens the image up itself and I can make it a little bit bigger if I want. I can also drag and drop it anywhere that I choose in the view. Now I'm going to hover over that image again and right click and just go over a couple other options that I have here. I can fix this image in place so that I can no longer move it around. Okay. 
unfix it as well. Okay, so now I can move it around. If I wanted to, um, I can open it up in another window. So I want to have a look at it in a little bit bigger space. And if I want to delete it, I simply right click again and click delete. Are you sure you want to? Yes. And there it's gone. So that is how you create a new view, navigate around views, and upload a background image to a view and knowledge forum.